previous lesson, we saw how we can add chart.js and also customize it to fit what we need. In this lesson, we are going to see how to add the layout listing or the project listing. It's more like the summary section where you can just see on a glance maybe the most recent project. Let's see how that works. So similarly to how we created the project listing, it's more like what we're going to do in this very section. And for us to do that, let's come just immediately under the project. Let's see, let's make sure that we are using the right, the right tag. Okay, so under the secondary section, just immediately below the chart. Now we want more like lists or the recent project. For us to display the recent project, we need to have a div with the class of recent project. Okay, so we still need that comment. They just have it say recent project. Let's put it to the end. So this trick really about adding comment to a tag is once you envision that a tag will be a bit longer and it will take you time for you to trace the end, you can mostly use it. As you can see on this very short tag, there's no need because I could tell almost immediately the beginning of the tag and the closing tag. But for this recent project listing, it's going to take like a long list and um, for us not to be confused at any point that we are scanning our code, we can always look for the end very easy. In the recent project, we also need to have like a project container, more like a card that is going to group each of the projects so that we can use CSS at some point to position them. And let's just call it, we can call the class listing. Inside this class is where we're going to have each of the projects. Let's take a look at what we need to do. Here, we need to cater for this tag color, category color. Then have the tie to also have the button. Now, this is already telling us that at some point, we need to flex or flex display all of this in our CSS. We're going to get to that very soon. Okay, so what we can do right now is to declare another div, which is going to be class of title. In this div, let's have our category. We can have the category, let's say class of category. We don't have, we don't need anything here. So we can say, let's go for H2. And we can give it maybe layout in. Layout in as a project I2. Then the project was created by, let's use p tag by chi, chi does a. Chi does a spelled with the e i, chi does a. Then kachuku. Kachuku is spelled like this. Then we need something else. We need the button. We can just use the span. Then let's call the class of material icon. Then let's use the outline. Then let's call on the more vet. Let's see. This should be outlined. All right. So 
what we need to do right now is to duplicate each of the project just under this listing we can duplicate each of them you can see that we're having multiple so let's go ahead and change the second title to like Photoshop or Photoshoot. Photoshoot is by Musa Ismail. Musa Ismail. Okay, we can duplicate again. And let's say we have branding. Branding. Branding is by Ezekiel. Ezekiel. Arulo. Okay, cool. So we have projects by Ezekiel. We have um, photo shoots. Let's see how many project listings that we have. Okay, we have like four. Let's add the last one. We can just say graphic design. Just going to have graphic design. We can have this one as Matthew. Okay, so now we have four project listing, which is cool. And that's how we wrap it up on this one. It's now time for us to use CSS to make all of this look so beautiful. As it is right now, it looks boring and not really enticing. CSS is going to help us to achieve all of this beauty and our page will have like a flesh and it's going to look awesome. Thank you for watching and I'll see you in the next one. If you like this video, subscribe to our YouTube channel and follow us on all our social media and do so that you'll be notified each time we release a new tip. Until next time, I'll see you in the next one.